look like I'm the shorter one. Um, I'm going to start with um, a very simple question. What is this? House. house. It's a Ray, if it's a house, come up here, get inside, and wait for us to come in. It is not a house, this is an image of a house. It has a fireplace, a peach roof, a door and a window, but it is much more uh, real than my own representation of uh, a house, which also has a peach roof, a door, a window, a fireplace, and a happy sun. It's not an island, obviously. <laughs> but it's still a, representa a representation. So the way we represent our own space depends very much about our culture and education. So in a way, uh, one shouldn't be wondering why uh, our most innovative friends uh, would end up with a house like this, uh, which has a pitch roof, a door, a window, and a dormer window, because it's a slightly more expensive house. <laughs> Although I've got to now they moved to New York, so uh, maybe they left their houses uh, to New York, for New York. Or our friend Trex, who are actually more sophisticated because he has a roof garden until you walk and walk into. He has an atrium for cross-ventilation, and he reusing an existing structure, which makes him very sustainable. <laughs> so maybe it's not about the representation of our space, which is important, is how we perceive our space as human, not as a dogs, but as a human, as we see it from a 1.6 meter high. So in a way, um, the visual uh, perception of space it's very important, but what happened then uh, when somebody cannot see? Should the house be a standard house, or should it be a series of walls that help the person to find their way into the bedroom, into a toilet, into a bathroom, and so on and so forth? Questions. So space are not only a box, but there are a series of spaces which are inter uh, interfering to one to another, uh, complementing to one to another. And yes, we need the shelter, we need the wall subdivised, we need uh, protection from the rain and water. But one should also look at a space as a series of sequences of space, whether it's inside or outside. And the same level of thought should be applied to our own uh, uh, cities, which in a way we experience in the same fashion. We still experience our cities from 1.6, 1, well, for me 1.5 probably, meter, but the same level of thought should be put into our streets and our public space. And the way we engage with our town should say it's be the same way as we engage with our own private space. So in a way, a house is a city and a city is a house. And the city can same level of thought and the same level of engagement and the same level of criticism we need to put into our inside as our outside. And of course, it's never black or white, bad and evil. It's always a level of graduation and nuances into spaces, which has a huge, in that sense, is a huge impact on how people behave and how people use the spaces are offered to them for leisure. <laughs> so how do we have people inhabit the space is very important. Or for, let's say, a less more civilized type of behavior, <laughs> social behavior. <laughs> but I, I, I guess it is a natural thing, isn't it? But it depends how we design the space for it. And it's, it's a very welcoming space to do that kind of behaving, which will never disappear. So maybe we should actually rethink how our public spaces are given to us and how we use them. Because the impact of the spaces we create, whether they're inside or outside, have a huge impact on the quality of the people living in them, because they make their own history throughout the time. They record their own life in them, whether it's in a, a normal house or whether it's in a, a prison cell. So who's in charge? Us. So in a way, we need to um, try to prioritize what we want, whether we want to be uh, living in the left or maybe we should prioritize and we actually take over the streets of our cities. Solutions, they do exist. There's a lot of them. You can, you know, wall, no wall, long distance, short distance, high speed, we know them all. You just have to study a little bit and you found the solutions quite easily and quite simply. The question is, do we want to listen and just live our life or do we want to start to take charge and to take in our hand our city and our public space? So the real question is, how hard do you want it to happen? Thank you. <laughs>